Hey guys, this is Desiree with Vapor Honing Technologies and today we're doing some testing on a screw compressor component for a customer who came to us seeking full automation. They are remanufacturing these compressors and right now they're using chemicals such as Simple Green. They're using elbow grease and cleaning these by hand. There's also paint stripping involved. So today we're doing some testing on a smaller machine at 3500. This is a custom machine where we can hydroblast and media blast as well for different surfaces. Their Robo IQ will be customized as well and fully automated. So we're going to be doing some testing on this part. We already did testing on stripping paints on the outside of their casings. I think they're going to be really happy with these results. We hydroblasted this portion instead of vapor honing um, because we just wanted to do degreasing and cleaning. Uh, vapor honing does not change or damage the surface of your part, but this customer wanted to make absolutely sure that we made no changes to the mating surface of this component. All right, so we hydroblasted the first component, got it super clean, got all of the grease off, but Per the request of the customer, we're gonna go ahead and media blast this component. We already measured the surface roughness using a profilometer. We're gonna media blast it and then measure it again with a profilometer just to see what that data would look like. So as you can see, we just got done media blasting this small portion right here. It did get rid of those tool marks. It got rid of a lot of that grime and staining that had been on the surface of this. Media blasting does change the surface roughness measurement of whatever you're blasting. So we're gonna do a measurement of that. Media blasting also does give a really nice finish to uh, whatever you're blasting. So I blasted it a lot more with glass bead and essentially this is the outcome. Glass bead does finish the component, so you have a very shiny um, surface. Whereas if you're not wanting to change the surface at all, you're not wanting to tamper with the mating surface at all, you're gonna wanna just hydroblast and not finish. And hydroblast does remove all of the filth, the gunk, and the grease. All right guys, I just wanted to showcase our dual customization that we have going and how that can be implemented into full automation. Thank you guys so much for watching.